Hey guys, how are you? What a seminal week in the markets this has been. Yes, this has been a huge one. I've just finished non-farm payroll with my premium members and a few uh, that joined us for a non-farm uh, from my earlier live. Wow, so many key aspects. The cogs of this global, or should I say this worldwide, machine are falling out in different places and they all point to the same thing really really big big week this week finishing with a non-farm that supposedly met expectations even had a small bit above um, the overall earnings so if you if you're a factoid person then the expectation was 164,000 we got 164,000. The average hourly earnings expected 0.2. They got 0.3. And guess what? It all went wrong. <laughs> so we had a Fed. We had a Fed do the most hawkish ever cut of interest rates, which also included the termination of a quantitative uh, tightening program by being pulled forward from September to July, uh, the end of July, um, which is pretty dovish but any way you look at it but no obviously the market expected more or the bankers were ready to buy the dollar only for it all to reverse very shortly thereafter so precious metals fans and everything else but we we were calling inside the premium community where we're operating um with the guys on the fx commodity in general the scope for copper to be doing a major fall oh my god yes indeed that's the latest one but we were on it before why it was interesting the big fractal in fact let's show you this on the big charts let's just do this this is a big spill my favorite pattern the peeing off a roof bell uh, pattern yes out she goes and then whew, largely down she goes it, ever faster with convexity yep that's right it's one of our hvf phrases it's kind of confusing but don't worry you can find out more about it if you want go to the market sniper.com and speak to one of our guys um who are actual traders who trade hvf method anyway so copper falls out of bed oil um the other day had one of its worst single days so hang on the economy's all groovy and here we're on the four hourly but that was a day if i change it to the daily for the last four and a half years that was the single worst day okay it's having a bit of a rally there as well but this is economic activity everything's groovy just a little bit of the trade war that idiot trump da 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 says the fed but everything's really just fine we're so super strong you're so strong but copper inside cars inside com construction nobody wants it it's going down oil she's going down in everything transportation of goods everything it's going down Oh, okay. Um, so economic activity is therefore not so good. No one's buying copper and industrial metal. No one's buying uh, oil is going down in price. Why is this happening if everything is so groovy? Gold, the hedge, the great hedge on, in, on economies that are not sound. The real insurance against irresponsible economic conduct is your gold market how are they doing after having a crazy push down recently well overall trend as you can see clearly up what's happening here oh you made your non-farm number you had your little dip sell-off moment and what's actually happening in we're close to pushing to through the previous highs and in actual fact never mind the dollar against the euro you're flying look at that for a trend on the four hour on the daily you're flying against the euro my goodness you're flying against the pound my goodness in fact you're going parabolic against the pound on the daily and the four hourly so the metal that is insurance the anti responsible uh, worldwide economic management thing people want to buy insurance against irresponsible fiat cabalist tendencies by gold and silver and what is happening they are strong as a bull bitcoin is moving up um in an, a good channel bitcoin is moving up despite having uh, advanced exceedingly strongly 
um, since the beginning of the year. 10,648. Look at that move. After having a bit of a draw back down, we called for a uh, falling wedge break and it has broken. It's in a channel and it's moving up. Interesting indeed. Interesting indeed. So you've got gold, you've got Bitcoin, the risk off. You've got silver, you've got the gold silver ratio. Let's see what's happening with that. Will it start turning as silver starts to get its mojo back? I suspect it will. You've got the Dow Jones. Whoops, not loving the non farm number and all the narrative. Now, actually, on the big Nifty 50 tech corp, mega corps, in fact, there's not 50 of them. Nifty 50 comes from the 50s, uh, in the 50s, when there were 50 corporations that were big, and what's good for GM is good for America, aka Ford, etc., etc., of the companies of that time. Um, we now have the Fangs, um, even they've come off. Overall, I'm not a bear, them. I think they're going to create. New highs on some of those, but the indices are not liking this. The indices are not liking. We hate on. What you missed on our non-farm? We hate on car makers. Yes. So I'm talking about copper, the commodity. We hate on car makers. We think there's overproduction. We hate on U.S. financial services, particularly certain banks, certain trading uh, platforms, uh, and certain other items that I have let out to you. Some people will say, oh, but there's share buybacks share buybacks let me tell you um, when the loans get called in and the interest rates go up the share buybacks won't happen high yield corporate debt we spoke in detail we put on a short we did two trades today in non-farm trading uh, day with all those that were attending um, and we put them on and some of them have very very high risk reward yields if the reset is coming this could be a seminal day, a seminal day of rejection. Generally, indices, they sell off, they bounce back up, they can go up a little higher. But there's real stress in the system for the legacy old school industries. Deutsche Bank, what's it doing? It is in for us in a rising wedge type structure with a break of the lower line to come. Banks are weak, US banks and especially the mid and smaller size, although they're all sick. Uh, we're short. As I say, we've shorted one in there as well. That was a third trade we took yesterday. High yield, really, really weak. Gold making highs. How's it doing against the RAND? Emerging economies. Ah, oh, terrible wick there, spoiling the chart. Let's get him off. Bad data. Guess what? Blow off almost new highs uh, against the RAND. Lovely continuation pattern that is continuing. What about that stalwart of fiat? We highlighted the strength of the yen as a fiat currency versus other fiats. That's excluding gold, silver, precious metals. Just for FX traders that only trade FX, don't want anything that's known as a commodity or real money, don't want anything to do with crypto. You want to be long the USD, uh, you want to be long the yen, short the USD JPY. Everyone thinks the strongest currency is uh, the dollar. It's the biggest, but it's also one of the most flawed. It'll be one of the last to go. It will be one of the, uh, the final shoes to fall. But I can tell you one of the currencies that will be better place for your wealth will be the yen. Look at the structure. Look at that. Ask me where it goes next. I have made and I've said this before. We are going to the 80, 80s again. We will break the 90s and I suspect overperformance is indeed possible. And if we go full blown reset as a follow on as this in due time, you will potentially make new lows over here. Yes, you heard it. I'm actually saying sub 75. That's not going to be tomorrow. OK, let's be mature about it. We'll revisit this clip in 18 months, two years. I've called for the Great Reset, probable years, 21. But potential, some of the things to start playing out uh, before, some of the early signs are already here. They're already in the. It's all there. Um, what happened to that dollar strength on that non-farm after the Fed? Well, against the euro, it went up. Against the pound, it went up. Against the yen, not so good. What happened with the yen against gold? Well, guess what? Even this fiat has got a gold breakout against it. We warned that the big gold bull market is here, is here when we took out that level there into that falling wedge and we began that move. And we'd been very cautious. We'd kept people out, the precious metals, not yet, not yet. Everyone got real excited with the 16 bump. 
which was the China debt situation. Big sell-off, big sell-off, big sell-off a second time, less big falling wedge, and you then got real structure to give you a move to the upside. And since then, look at that candle right now on your weekly chart. You do not want to be short this metal. This is your insurance against failing Kabbalist central banker cartels that are here to keep themselves in power, proliferate their fiat, and tax you every time they do by destroying the value of your money. Your gold will still be there tomorrow. It'll still weigh the same. It will still have the same properties. In the meantime, fiat proliferation coming. The new NERP is coming. No and negative interest rate policy is going to get ever more. America is starting to have more Amer uh, negative based yields. Europe is knees deep in it. Um, we'll have close to, uh, we passed a trillion on negative interest rate. Uh, products in um, America. That is absolutely incredible. Um, it is all really, really happening. This could be a really seminal week. We had the Bank of Japan. We had the FOMC. We had Bank of England. We had Euroland. We had the Bank of Japan. I said that twice. I want to say it twice. It's those kimchi pancakes. Uh, anyway, um, so big news. Big news. It's really happening out there, guys. Um, th this non-farm was mind-blowing. I think there's a lot of things that are uh, really starting to show stress. Really starting to show stress. That Australian property bubble. How do they spare themselves from a super cycle in their uh, property markets? They devalue their currency. That's how you devalue the property. Devalue the currency. This is how your Australian dollar has done against gold. Look at that little continuation, friends. All time highs, Australia against gold. But no, but no, they're not having a property bust. I'm afraid your house in Australia, Sydney, Melbourne in gold ounces is getting cheaper and cheaper to buy. Yep, do that analysis. That's why you don't see it. They kill your fiat. They kill your fiat. That Australian dollar's performance is diabolical. Let's compare it against the Japanese yen, shall we? Which is also losing value to gold. Let's do fiat to fiat. You say, oh, but gold's just awesome right now. You'd be right. That's the Aussie against the JPY. Down, 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 and new down. And it had a spike down. Oh, dear, oh, dear. This is not a stable economic environment. There is skullduggery all around. We can smell the crookery of the deceivers that's skipping about in the cartels of banking. Yes, sirree. Lest we remind you, the great yield debacle. Covered this with the guys in our uh, um, non-farm today. Uh, look at that. We are turning down Yes, this was your 2007-08 inversion of yield. Let's do the other one. Let's do the other one where we get .com in as well. Love to offer you more history. Here's your .com dip. How did that go? Not well. Serious recession. It threw Bush Sr. out and got slick Willie Clinton, the, the, the man of many, many murders. The many, the many ghosts that follow him and his wife in for two years. Then you had subprime. The other Bush showed up to pick up the can of the feel good. It's the economy, stupid Clinton, that genius that engineered the rebound like hell. Anyway, you are here and you're turning down. This is one of the most reliable indicators of major recession. You do not have normal recessions when you are this indebted. It is only big. What happened to we on our theme of uh, automotive vehicles like copper, palladium. Now it is precious, but it's not that precious compared to gold. It shouldn't be higher than gold, but it's used in autos of auto bearishness. Um, it's been replacing a little bit platinum for the auto use. It is selling off big, big rejection, kind of like a double top on uh, palladium. This has industrial use. Yes, it's precious, but it's generally not used for bullion and the insurance hedge that platinum, gold and silver are. Wow. 
Um, remember we warned you on the gold-silver ratio. You've had a little bit of a bounce as gold leads the rebound uh, back initially until silver starts catching up. And that's my forecast of what comes next. Um, a, a dip out of this seven-year rising wedge that you actually went to 93 and a half ounces of silver to buy one ounce of gold. Wow, we haven't seen numbers like that before in ages, if ever. Wow, all I can say is wow. Um, I spoke to folk on Twitter, Wells Fargo. Yes, some say there are buybacks to come. You're going to have to eat their 23 billion that they will do it. Um, Wells Fargo. So I'll let you have a little sniff. We, cover, we covered this one. Massive bull market on this one. It was the doyen and the darling. It survived the subprime better than others during this big smash. By the way, in the subprime, lost 38 down to 8. That's a heck of a move. Wait till you get subprime on steroids. Massive head and shoulder structure here. And what's it doing right now? It's selling off. It's selling off. I expect continuation. And there was a secondary monarch head and shoulders. You'll learn what we mean by that on a program course. Book in the market sniper.com. Go chat to a trader just like you who's been doing HVF for minimum two, even three years. You will hear their opinion and view. Someone, my guys who work for me are all traders and have done HVF uh, with us. We are not a marketing company. We are trading a company that specializes in trading and helping other traders learn a method and have community of commonality where do we think this goes deep deep down into the 20s and over performance major potential sell-off if we go full reset if we go full reset so much tilray we covered long time ago everyone is late everybody so late this is what we said on tilray we said tilray was a short when it was 82 no one was interested in us they were still in pumpity pump bull mode now the, the 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 headlines are cannabis short interest has crossed five billion this was when they should have been short over here and over there and on this pattern over here you could have got it at 82s and you could have got out down at 37s now they want to get short now they're at all-time highs it's almost too late this is looking now like it is bottoming it's looking like it's bottoming that is a very very calm drift off move that can turn into a nice thin slice of falling wedge that will have a bump to the upside it made its target progress decay it had a little uplift pump having a weak drift down this is going to be potentially bottoming we did this ages ago tesla cars yes we called for the 180 you have the youtube there do we get everything right not a sausage do we get everything right not a sausage but remember um, it's a probability based game and we look at high rewards to risk we call that tesla short down there to 180 did it hit 180 you betcha it hit 180 that was your risk reward 8.66 out of that structure down there what did it do it whiplashed up can it reset up again in a similar fashion you betcha it can but it'll drift up a little bit first i suspect um, so cars are weak subprime in banking oh my god even trading is weak go look at the traders those are the areas we most uh, don't like trade the metals themselves not yet the miners many are over leveraged and won't get the full hits until they've tidied up their balance sheets a little bit there are some good miners out there trade maybe the mid cap or the big ones the small ones will get bought out that are too indebted for their ounces that they have in the ground yes you might think that's a good thing but uh, they might be bought cheaply with just small premiums uh, and there's uh, essentially a call option for the buyer um, on the, the gold and silver they have in the ground by the way so many mines not been making proper money they've been destroying capital value so little exploration going on so little being found in the exploration that is going on they're spending four or five times more they're finding five percent uh, of what they used to and the quality is half what it used to be precious metals is precious and is rare watch out watch out um it's going to become a very big bull market potentially for the gold and silver this is some of what you missed out on um on our non-farm to payrolls today traditional markets been really really interesting and bitcoin itself is boss look at the dominance i've told you it's a dominance trend stay the hell out of stay the hell out of those god forsaken alts unless you're shorting them against bitcoin 
we can go we can go back to 90 percent in a bear market every time it sells off the alts will collapse and every time it goes up bitcoin will lead it you could see very high percentages that's not a forecast it's just saying there's much more crap that needs clearing out out of the deck and the dominance neem keeps coming through i'll just show you that quickly so this is an all-round uh, youtube for you all this is a key aspect there we go R rallying up here um, bitcoin dominance even if it turns down and fails your dominance is up your dominance is up this has been a trend since the beginning of 2018 and look at that reassertment that was the pullback beginning of basing higher low higher high continuation pattern bit busy here another continuation pattern blow off but strong two weeks down snap back back up dominance is back and is the meme what are you doing being long anything else what are you doing being long trading anything else and even on your investment bitcoin is the god coin i'm not a maximalist i'm not a believer i'm just telling you what the chart is showing me use the others to short go bitcoin versus ripple short it, uh, it's been it's like flat against 28 30 cents every time it gets away from it it gets smacked back down they just continually doing icos <laughs> releasing coins to fund their development and everything just short the damn thing kill all the crappy alts um short them against bitcoin dominance to go up higher you've heard it here there are big things happening right now in the markets that copper unwinding cars and property oh my god there is uh, there is a recession i've we never escaped the depression that we're in but within that narrative that is being hidden we are turning down again this is not the reason it's been a long recovery has been it's a crap recovery it's not a recovery <laughs> it's a proliferation of fiat on a global scale so that you can synchronize the all fall down ring a ring of flipping rosies scam and then introduce the new structure for all to live by they're planning their Bretton woods mark two moment and it's coming in the meantime you need to look after your wealth you need to be well set and you need to stay out of you need to stay out of debt stay out of the debt and i'm talking about debt markets buying bonds your pension not uh, the other debts on your credit card but get rid of that too as well there is going to be opportunities aplenty we're doing them we're discussing them in uh, crypto sniper market sniper in our sniper circle if you want to be part of that you can talk to a real trader click on the link below otherwise enjoy the free view understand to me this was a seminal week i think a lot of things are starting to creak some of the bolts on this submarine are popping uh, there is real pressure in the system and uh, another shoe has begun to drop for me anyway love you and leave you enjoy your weekends thanks for watching and the market sniper leaving you with that picture of the copper market yes copper market bring up the copper market francis hgi this is an important industrial method it's even a cheap man's uh, silver in china it is very very important industrial it is losing it is losing its socks it had an awful day today a look one way go the other way candle look at that on your weekly chart this is all in a head and shoulders i could see quite possibly if we tilt into full reset it going well beyond the, re the head and shoulder target uh, and possibly if we go full reset in time not tomorrow running the lows of 2009 okay i love you and leave you not meant as advice this is pure entertainment be good or be good at it uh, francis signing off enjoy your weekends